Hello everybody and welcome to Super Luigi Galaxy Episode 2. Luigi, wake up. So what's going to be happening here is I'm going to be doing the second part of... I'm going to continue with this let's play. Now, as you're seeing, he's talking about handheld screen and this star. Basically, I'm recording maybe a couple episodes in advance just because... I want to get all the tutorial stuff out of the way and I can sort of speak to you about what else is going to happen. He's just going to explain here. This planet has galaxies, it has domes. The amount more stars you have, the more you can unlock. As you see, this is a three. We only have one, so we can only unlock this. Which is the good egg galaxy. So this is where we're going to start off. Power stars in this galaxy. So we're going to fight this galaxy. The good egg galaxy. Now... I'm going to explain to you what we're going to be doing here. Now with Luigi, there are some differences in this in this game. So with Luigi, you can jump a bit higher, so his jumps work a lot better than Mario's. Uh, his long jumps are higher, his triple jumps are higher. He, he, do ha he does have slippery shoes though. So but what, by that I mean when you're running, if you're running like really fast, and you suddenly come to a stop. Let me see if I can demonstrate it. Is there a run button here? There is not. But if you suddenly come to a stop, then it will not work. And let me see if I can do this. I want to show you the trick. If I can do it. I did it! Basically, you have to talk to that little man. He'll give you a mini start to launch up to the big one. But you can also do that. And I don't know if you can do that with Mario, I think it works better with Luigi, but yeah, that's the one benefit of doing Luigi, he will have this massive, well you saw it here, like his shoes slip a little bit more than Mario's do, or than Mario's would, so like I said, that's what I mean by slippery shoes, it, okay, that was a bit weird, the controls went a bit janky there, I, normally doesn't do that, Gonna grab these five star pieces is what we're looking for here. Avoid the rocks. If you hit the red bit, you'll get a bunch of star bits, but I've okay, just started this game and I do not want to die. Okay, there it is. There's a final. Shoot, do, do, do. Come on, stop. Stop hitting me. Alright, come on, come on. Gonna let me jump into the star. Yeah. These controls are a lot better than what the other controls are. Like, if you, if anybody who has this game on Switch, the All Star Edition, the, I don't know if you feel it too, but the, but for me, Sunshine and 64 feels very janky. I don't know why it just does. Oh, I so can. Also, the things I'm collecting are star bits. If you collect 50, you'll get... The things I'm collecting are star bits. If, I... if you collect 50, you'll get an extra life, but you'll need them more for something else. In a bit. Behind that, I think you've got one. Now we get to the first boss fight. I'm just gonna start this one here. Here is Dino Piranha. He walks around and he keeps trying to attack you. He gets mad now, so he's gonna get him to pop up and pop. And then just do that again, and boom! Easy boss fight, easy, easy boss fight. Actually, before we collect this, might as well get some more star bits. These are going to be very important later, or just in general, they're always important. So just collect as many as you can. 
the coin there. Nope. Alright, 95. Decent. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Da, da. Hundred twelve. I guess always save the game. Those are star bits. Tasty Lumis Delectum. Yep, 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 yep. I'll explain this all in a sec. Basically, he's gonna show you how to shoot star bits. You basically collect them and then you press the ZR button. And Oh, I could have just wasted one. And basically there's going to be little loomers here that you're going to have to feed and then they'll need star bits. He says that because I believe what is our next mission? It's a snack of com cosmic proportions, so here's a tactic here. For this level, you will need to get a ton of star bits. Get whatever you can. Also, these guys are called Opera Rocks. They will mess you up. They're one of the most annoying enemies ever. When you're not started, I don't want you to be trying to get 100 really. Oh, more stuff. Start it, start it, school. Stop it, you jerk. Stop it's here. That would have been more bad. Nice out. I've already got 50, not bad. See, that was a bit weird. That wasn't me, I was literally trying to control that and it was not having any of it, so. This you can shoot star bits at the enemies and stun them. So yep. Basically, if you're having trouble, you can always, I'll demonstrate it, you can shoot one at the enemy and knock it. And a lot of enemies will get stunned by that. I, I don't recommend doing that, a lot of times you don't need to. Plus, it's not really wise, because obviously this is a level where I'm trying to farm star bits. Just a bit annoying. Hello, Goomba. Star bits, star bits, star bits, star bits, star bits. You can also get star bits by. Which is what I mean by. You move very fast. You just hit these things. Oop. You can break those things over and you're gonna stop it. But we're not going to worry about that for now. Because the next planet we should have the Hungry Luma on it. And we will have enough star bits by the time we get the Hungry Luma. Starbits, but we're not going to grind that. We've got the hunter that we need. But before we talk to that hungry little man, I'm spoiling it now. It's a hundred. I'm just making life easier for you. Just get a hundred if you can. There are other planets. But they don't like limit on you on how you how to get starbit. It is very easy to get starbit on a lot of these planets. Hey, you got any tasty bar starbits? Feed me a bunch and I'll transform. I'll finish, give me a hundred. Now this is a situation where it's, you have to do this. There will be other levels where you find a hungry Luma and that will just be a 
secret level. So always collect star bits whenever you can. Uh, I'll try and do my best to mention when there's a Hungry Luma. I don't know if I'm gonna do the Hungry Luma, Luma stars as soon as I see him, or just when I get a chance. I haven't really planned that far ahead yet. You see how high Luigi jumps? It makes your life a ton easier. That you don't have to do go through all this stuff. You can literally just jump, jump, maneuvers. It makes the game so much faster. Obviously his speed and stuff hasn't helped me out yet. Or hasn't hidden me in any way currently. I mean, I feel like it could be a hindrance at some point. But right now it's working just fine, so... We shall carry on. Being just there. Is this not the correct area? Well, there we go, that's what I was meant to do. I was wondering, I'm like, wait, am I not meant to be going up? But yes, I am meant to be going up. They're going this piece out. And we are gone. A mini coconut planet. Now, what they want you to do here is they want you to grab all these blue chips, but I'm not doing that. Speedrun tactics! You got a star. Snack of Cosmic Portions, now we have three. Whenever you have enough star, um, stars to do anything, it will basically say a new galaxy has opened up. So here, for example, we've got this new planet. Honey, honey hive. But first, we're gonna finish up all we've got here in good egg. King Caliente, the battle fleet. So you saw that probably in that bit of the last level. Depending on the level, as you can see here. I don't know how you're supposed to do that either. I mean, I, that was even really tough to do that in the beginning. I think you need to jump a little bit later than that to even get the freaking second one on. Hello, Toad. Don't really care about your face or whatnot. Alright, hang on. Break that open. I don't know why I thought that was a good idea, that's clearly not the way they want you to do it. It's the way they want you to do it. Goodbye, Pokey! And you this. You poor sad little Goombas. do here is I'm going to backflip. I did not want Let's do that there. Give me the money. Show me the monies. Okay, it, it did not let me press Y again after that quick succession. Hello. Hello other toad. My toad friend. Uh, 
I am the captain now. So we're moving on to... Where, where are we going? Where is this taking us? Ooh, the bottom of King Caliente's layer. Also, if you shoot star bits at these things, they'll give you coins. You shouldn't need it for this boss fight. King Caliente, so... If you shoot fire at you, easily dodge your ball. Then you shoot a watermelon, click it, and see. Okay, controls, stopping janky again. That was annoying, so that happened. I tried to, like, sort that out. He'll shoot back, and then he'll shoot at someone else, but all you'll do is hit it again. You'll hit it, you'll hit his crown. He'll get mad. You mad, bro? Then you'll shoot these blue things. These blue things don't really do you any harm. Shoot. I say that, then I get hit by them. No. Shoot back. Shoot back. Shoot back. It's not really hard. I, I, I shouldn't have gotten hit there, but I was just playing really stupidly, so, you know. Can you do... And that's another star gotten. I'm gonna call it there for today. As you can see, I've done most of the tutorials and I've showed you what I did to have star coins and everything like that. But until next time, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode of Super Luigi Galaxy. And I'll see you all for another episode sometime soon. Alright then, bye!